It's been more than four years now since Montgomery County formed its cold case unit. It's dedicated to solving unsolved murders in Montgomery. WSFA 12 News anchor Jasmine Williams got a behind the scenes look in this month's 12 News Defenders case file. We are working very hard. So many cold cases, so many faces, a lot of them featured in our 12 News Defenders case file series. This is where the name for our series comes from. And these are those case files. Each one represents a victim and a family searching for closure. Cold cases are cold for a reason. Um, you run out of leads, so the cases are harder to solve. And that's where investigator Anthony Shannon comes in, in charge of finding leads and making these cold cases hot again. He's the sole full-time cold case investigator in Montgomery County, working closely with prosecutor Marianna Lynn Coleman. And they're a part of a team of people who make up the county's cold case unit. To let these families know that we have not forgotten. In 2019, prosecutors, investigators, detectives all came together to form this task force and focus on solving these crimes. That's because normally in police departments, different detectives work on cold cases in their spare time. And that just isn't enough to crack a case. A lot goes into uh, working cold cases, a lot. So far, they've solved 10 cases, but there are 100 plus more, some dating back to the 70s. And it's these older cases that often involve extensive work, tracking down older witnesses and looking at dated evidence. Thankfully, new technology has helped. We build one of these complete DNA profiles. We witnessed this firsthand in our area in Opelika. New DNA technology there helped identify a child who for years was only known as Baby Jane Doe. It's these stories that keep investigator Shannon and his team going. It motivates you um, to go out and do your part. A special squad dedicated to closing all these cold cases for good. With this 12 News Defenders case file in Montgomery, I'm Jasmine Williams. And as always, for more on unsolved cases in our area and to listen to Case Files podcast, visit our website, WSFA.com.